God. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful. Glory to God. God. Strategy, and I wanted to see if using just the standard you, indicators. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Yams Choir. Thank you, Yams Choir. That was. Thank you, Jesus. That was Thank you, Lord. I'm gonna have to have y'all sing on a Sunday. That was, that was fine. That was amen. Beautiful. Let us pray really quick. Lord God, we just come to you one more time saying thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Just thank, thank you. you. But God, now I ask that you speak through me as I give this devotional, God, let it touch somebody and let them understand you just a little bit more after this. In Jesus' yes, name. Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Um, I am, first of all, nervous. I, I've never been this nervous, so bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. But <laughs> um, today's topic is guidance for decision making. Guidance for decision making coming from proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 6 and i will be reading that from the english standard version and it reads as trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path mm. as pastor would say that's a good text I think oh, that's the scripture. Right. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Proverbs chapter three, verses five through six. Um, and this verse is very, this verse is very popular. Um, and I think we say it a lot without really knowing what it means. Um, and to start off, we should know that Proverbs is a book of wisdom. You read through Proverbs a lot of things that we can look at and use in our everyday life um it's almost as if like god is like heeding us like this is what you need to do um so when you read proverbs if you ever you know hear a proverb take don't take it like it's, mm -hmm. it's something that we do. um so we're gonna break down the verses we're gonna break down the verses um trust in the lord is number one trust in the lord this verse is a command to trust in God and it's a foundational principle of faith. It's a reminder that people's understanding is not always accurate and that they should not rely on it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that again because I'm gonna say that again so it can register. Yes. Yes. It's a reminder. Trust in the Lord mm. is a reminder that people's understanding is not always accurate. That means human. That mean that may mean your best friend or, or or your your sibling or your parent or whatever the case may be. It may not always be accurate. Their understanding may not always be accurate, and mm -hmm. you should not rely on that. Yes, yes. So that goes into the second verse of lean not on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. This verse, mm -hmm. this verse is a command to not rely on people's own understanding which is often faulty and feeble mm -hmm. which is often faulty and feeble yes. it's a reminder that people should acknowledge god and trust that he will direct their path yes, yes. yes. lean not on your own understanding yes is a reminder that people should acknowledge god and trust that he will direct their path. Yes. 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 In yes. all. Yes. In all. Yes. In all. Your yes. way. Acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. This verse is a reminder that people should acknowledge God in all aspects of their lives. Whether choosing a spouse, buying a house, planning Amen. a vacation, Amen. deciding on which school you'll attend, which ministry you'll serve in, and even asking God to align your plans with his. Amen. It's a reminder Amen. that God will guide people in the right direction and remove obstacles from their path. Decision making should always start with God. Yes. God should not 
only be included, but God should be consulted about and about your decision. God wants to be a part of your life. Get some agreeance. <laughs> God wants to be a part of your life. Amen. To be there for you and support yeah. and encourage you. Yeah. We serve a God that wants to be in our lives. Yeah. He literally died just to save us. Mm -hmm. uh, why would he? Why would he? I know situations are hard, but God isn't hard to reach. And he mm -hmm. wants you to call him. And here are a few scriptures to help you with that. So take your notes out. Matthew 11, verse 28 says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, yes. and I will give you rest. Mm. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. Yes. And you yes. will find rest for your soul. And if that wasn't good enough, let's look at 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. That says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. And if that's not enough, Let's look at Jeremiah 29, 11. That says, for I know the plans I have plans to prosper you and not to harm you, but to give you hope and a yes. future. Yes. And if yes. that verse is not good enough, if, if that one just didn't hit it yet, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8 says, it is the Lord yes. who goes before you. Yes. He yes. will be with you. He will not leave you Monica. or forsake you. Thank you, Monica. Do not yes. be or be dismayed. Yes. To wrap this up in one sentence, I would say before you do anything, before you get up to go to work, before you even brush your teeth, <laughs> ask God what he wants you to do for that day. Mm. And not only ask, not only ask what he wants, but sit and wait. Yes. Mm. Sit and wait for a response. My Lord. We like to ask God and then move. Just mm -hmm. sit. Ask, wow. sit, and move. Yeah. Hallelujah. That would be my summary for guidance. Hallelujah. For mm -hmm. Ask, sit, and move. Amen. Amen. Bless his name. Amen. Let Amen. us go into prayer. Amen. Most Heavenly Father, we just come to you saying thank you one more thank time. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord, for waking us up. Thank you, Lord, for starting us on our way. Thank you, God, for bringing us through another week. Yes. God, thank it's you. Thursday, but the week is almost over, and we made it. And we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God, we say thank you for being able to walk outside and to enjoy your creation. You yes. call earth. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, we just say thank you for the little things right now. Yes. God, for the movement of our limbs, for My being in Lord. our right minds, for being oh, able to yeah. even say thank you. We just say thank, thank you for you, it. Jesus. Lord God, we take the little things for granted, so we just say thank yeah. you right now. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank Jesus. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Lord God, now we just come to you asking that you guide our decision making. Yes. yes. God, we ask that the plans that we have for ourselves are canceled so your plans can prevail in our lives. Mm. Yeah. God, we ask that the plans that you, God, we know the plans that you have for us are to prosper us, not to harm us, but to give us hope in the future, God. Mm. And God, for some of us, all we have is hope. Yes. So God, we just ask with that hope and that faith, God, that you will do what you said you will do. My you Lord. will fulfill your promises, God, because Amen. we trust that you will. Mm -hmm. God, for somebody on this call, they have a decision they need to make right now. My yes. Lord. And yes. they don't know what and they don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. So God, I'm asking that you show them what you yes, want them to God, do. In the name yes, of Jesus. Yes, God, it doesn't matter what their friend says, what their family says. Mm -hmm. God, let the answer come from you, God, because we yes, need to hear Lord. from you. Hallelujah. God, we're living in some perilous times. Yes. Oh, Lord. We're living yeah. in some wicked times. Yes. God, we just had another earthquake today. Yes. yes. Lord God, we need you. Yes. Lord, I, I'm not sure what you're trying to tell us, but God, we're ready to listen. Yes. God, we're ready to do whatever you have for us to do. Mm. Lord God, mm. it's scary. Mm. it's scary out here God we just say thank you for letting us get home safely 
Yes. Thank you, Lord. That's a blessing that we take for that we take advantage of. Thank you for letting us go to work, go to school, and return home yes. safely. We yeah. say thank you for that. Thank you. <clears throat> God, it's it's so much going on in the world. God, we have inflation going on. We have candidates running for an election. God, God, we just we just need you. Yes, well, God, it's, yeah. it, we, we just need you in mm. every area of our life. Yes. God, we can't move without you. Mm-hmm. God, and I ask that you not allow us to move without you. Help yes. Us. God, help us to center our focus on you, to consult you first, not human, yes. but you, God, because yes. you yes. have yes. the best answers. You have the best plans. God, and as simple as just helping us to even know who you are. Yes. God, I ask that the people who don't know you, the people who don't, know you god i ask that you bring them to you bring them closer to you god god help them to understand who you are Mm -hmm. this is an unfortunate world to live in without you so i said anybody who doesn't know you whether on this call or off this call god that you help them to know you to get to know you yes to get in relationship with you yes well god i ask that as we continue through this year god that you continue to bless our church Yes, yes in our ministry, yes. in our family, yes. the church building itself. God, the leaders of our church. Yes, Lord. God, I ask that you bless the AME church mm. as we're going to a general conference. God, I ask that your will be done. Yes, that's my prayer, God, that your will be done. Mm. Yes, God. But God, I ask if there's anybody on this call who may need a blessing physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, spiritually. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And for the ones who are going back to school in the academics, I ask that you bless them. Thank you, Lord. That you give them the strength, you, the discipline, yes. the you, focus, yes, the mindfulness yes, Thank you, that they need. Touch. Yes. Lord God, if there's anybody who's on this call who is mourning, mm. God, yeah. I ask that you remind them that weeping yes, God. may endure yeah. for a night. Oh, but joy. But joy, you, your yes. joy, mm. the joy that you give. Mm comes in the morning hallelujah yes. to your name and god you didn't specify when it was you said it would come in the morning but you didn't say when but we are mm. anticipating the joy yes. my uh, Lord, we say my thank, you thank you in advance hallelujah we say thank you in advance thank you thank, thank, you, thank, thank you, you lord Jesus. thank you thank lord, you lord god if there's anybody on this call who may need healing from an addiction of physical my healing lord. yes, yes. Mm. we ask that you heal them right now in the name, in of, the jesus. name, in the of, name jesus. of jesus god if there's anybody who is Feeling has feelings of anxiety, mm. suicidal thoughts, mm. thinking that it's it, that it's over. God yes. remind them that it's not over until you say it's over. Yes. Mm-hmm. God That's remind right. them who they are in you in the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Mm. But God, we just we just come again to say thank you for what mm. you're about to do. Mm. God, we say thank you for what you're about to do for those. Thank you, Lord. Who believe in you. Thank you. We Lord. say thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you for each and everything that you have done mm. and will yeah. continue yeah. to do. Yes. Mm. And Lord God, as we go through this prayer call, I ask that you just bless each and every one of us, Lord God, who yes. may have a heavy yes. heart or a heavy mind and who can't focus yes. on what's going on right now, God. Yeah. Block that out in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Have them so focus nice. on what's going on in the present moment in the name yes. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Lord God, if the enemy is trying to do or say anything, we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, oh yes. yes. And we send it back to where it came from. Mm. Yes. Satan has no place in our homes, in our church, in our lives, God. We rebuke mm. it in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name and God, we just we just welcome your spirit to continue yes. to flow through this prayer Holy call yes. and flow through everybody, Lord God. Mm. Yes. And as we prepare for Sunday, God, we just want to encounter you before Sunday. Mm. So we just ask for an, an encounter from you, Lord. Yes. Mm. Some of us just need to hear from you. Yes. Some of us just need to know that we're going to be okay. Mm. Yes. So we say thank you in advance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And Lord, as we end, as I end this prayer, I just say thank you again. I can't thank, thank you enough for the yeah. things that you have. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If we can click a react a reaction button, uh, hang up, um, praise or something for the creativity of Yam. Thank you, Lord. And with their leading us tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I, I loved um, Ashanti's statement that people's understanding is not always accurate. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, yes. That was mm -hmm. that was shots fired. That was shots <laughs> fired, Ashanti. Mm -hmm. Um, that our understanding is not always accurate. And so Amen. You know, it, it just causes us to lean on God that we mm -hmm. are comfortable moving in spaces that we do not understand yes. or uncomfortable mm -hmm. moving in spaces that we do not understand. And so mm -hmm. um, it just shows our lack of possibly our lack of complete and total dependence on God mm -hmm. if we have to understand everything to move in it. So um, thank you, Ashanti, for those words. Thank you, yeah. Yams, for your devotional song. Beautiful. And, um, let's give mm -hmm. the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Yes. So Amen. grateful. Hallelujah. And what do we have? Um, five more days. We have five more days. So let us um, continue these next five days um, present, um, attentive, and engaging amen amen, amen. amen. We, want to, we want to finish strong we want to amen, finish. amen. And, and we have you know it's, it's just about us getting together and communicating to god and so for that we're grateful mm -hmm. yes yeah. yes and amen god bless amen. you guys god and we'll see you tomorrow bless everyone. at, um, at 7 30.